beforehand like he'd have any trouble. Governor Christie's nominee to the state Supreme Court, Faustino Fernandez Vina, got a bit of a rough time at his Senate Judiciary Committee confirmation hearing this afternoon. Ranking Democrats on the committee felt he was not being forthcoming enough. As a candidate for the court, I would believe it would be inappropriate for me to comment on a past or present court ruling. You can't talk about cases that might come in front of you as a justice, but you can talk about cases that have been decided, decisions that have been rendered. Fernandez Vina is currently Camden County assignment judge. He told the committee he came to America at age 10 from Cuba, speaking no English. He is the sixth person Christie has appointed to the high court. Only one, Ann Patterson, has been seated. Two others, David Bauman and Robert Hanna, have been waiting 10 months for their hearings. This nomination was fast-tracked and was expected to sail through today, but some Democrats didn't seem to like what they were hearing. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry, but I cannot vote for someone who cannot give their opinion on issues like what the New Jersey Constitution applies to exclusionary zoning, thorough and efficient education, gay couples having the same rights and obligations under the law uh, as, 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 as straight couples. My opinions, personal or otherwise, play no part in the role of decision making so that my opinion is of no importance. It has never played a part in any ruling I have made. Bias, personal opinion, they must all be left out. Courts should rule based on the facts and the law without any personal opinion intruding. In the end, Lesniak changed his mind, and the vote was unanimous in favor of Fernandez Vina. Politically, this confirmation hearing taking place before the election is a gift from Senate Democrats to Governor Christie. It enables him to spend the next few weeks saying he's appointed the only Hispanic who will soon be sitting on the Supreme Court. It enables them to say they're not such obstructionists when it comes to court matters after all. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron at the Statehouse.